Hi everyone and welcome to part number four in this uh, project. So we are actually building a, a, a chat uh, app and uh, if you haven't watched the, previ the previous episodes then you will be finding actually a link to this playlist in the description so go and check it out. But if you are one of those who have been actually following with me since the first video so uh, in this video we are going to be actually checking what we have done in the last episode and just upgrading it a little bit so we haven't done everything so especially for the plus icon so now we're going to be actually get diving in depth and adding more features to just to one icon we're going to be adding a lot of uh, uh, access to it you will see that uh, we may want we may actually reach tw 12 actions for just one icon so let's just uh, get into it but don't forget to smash that subscribe button to join the learning community and also uh, you can actually turn on the bell icon so if i posted new episodes and new tutorials on this channel you'll be the first one to be notified so with that out of the way let's get into it so here for uh, this was the plus icon that i have just talked about so you see that if we go to the actions there are a lot of things so we have action one action two and uh, if you saw that when we click on plus we want to add this user to the this collection of the engage with of our user of our authentication user but this that was uh, this in this direction so now we want to do actually the uh, we want to do it the other way so let me show you a quick example of, how, of what i mean so here we are again inside whimsical so here so let's say so we have authentication user is actually engaging with jack so there is something that is called engaging that is actually exchangeable so one is belong to the engage with collection of the other one so which one so yes you got the idea so what happened is that uh, if we click on plus icon jack will belong to a collection of authenticated user right so jack will be part of those uh people who the authentication user is engaged with but another thing that we may not notice is that also that plus icon will take the authentication user and add it to the to the engaged with collection of jack so jack will be part will be part of authentication users uh, collection that is called uh, engaged with and also the authentication user it's himself will be part of jack's uh, authenticated uh, with collection so each one will be uh, a part or each one will belong to the sub collection of uh, the other one right that's pretty much what i mean so to do that we want you just to add the 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 next part of this so this is so uh, sorry for this notifications so what do i want to do here guys is very simple is that we want to add the the next part of this so now what you have what i do is that we are adding a user to the authentication users part we are just doing this thing we are doing adding jack to the authentication user but when you are going to be adding this one will be also engaging with jack that's why this one has to be added to jack that is the second part of uh, that's actually the topic of this video right so let's add the second part so remember the first one was creating a document but for who for uh, inside it so uh, we, we may want to actually uh, copy copy action chain and paste it here because it will be somehow the same so instead here of uh, creating another document in the user record we want to create a document so we want to create a document but it is not uh, for this for the authenticated user we don't want so we because we have done that here and by the way i have forgotten to do something sorry guys i have made a lot of mistakes so because i try to make things fast for you to waste to save some time uh, not to waste some time sorry for that but just uh, uh, i will have to add some fields because when you create a document you need to be adding some fields to that so let's check out all the fields that we have we have the id the photo and everything so uh, this has to wait for some time so we may want to actually stop that for us um, wait let it or just keep it there for the next video so we want to create a document and we want to take the name of who of so we are adding it to the to authentication user which means that we are going to be taking it from that uh, specific uh, uh, data da database or database query right so we want to take display name because we are giving it to this one for the id it's going to be again uh, the the users and finally for the photo it's going to be uh, this one 
yes because I, w I got checking the data from the here and adding it to the and adding it to the authenticated user or adding jack to the authenticated user so now let's do the the opposite thing so here that is very simple so here what do you want to do is that you instead of creating document for the user for the authenticated user uh, is this time we are going to change it we want to create a document for that new user that the other user we want to create a document for jack we want to create a document this time for jack so right and for jack we want to add uh, the authenticated user to jack this time right so we have added jack to the authentication user now we are going to be adding the authentication user to jack well, so we can have an ex an exchangeable uh, engagement right and the uh, documents creation yes so now we are, ha we, are we are going to be adding that the authentication user to jack and again the three fields so the name we are going to be adding the authentication user to jack so that's why for the name it's going to be the, the name of the authentication user display name and for the ID it is the ID of the authentication user and uh, confirm so finally for the photo it's going to be the photo again of uh, the authentication user right right so now we have done that so for the last thing is adding the uh, or actually so now what are going to be add again we are going to be adding the u authentication user to Jack so right so we want to first go here and change this ID we want to add it to this user we want to be adding taking data from the authenticated user so we want to first set this reference now we can remove this and we can add it again right so for the field so we want to be adding authenticated user to Jack so we want so we want to actually uh, just add authenticated user to the list of Jack to, to this list of the document references of Jack so we want to add to set we want to add the authenticated user to jack that is very simple and very easy so now we just we are just actually i have made this tutorial just to actually show you guys the other side of things and uh just uh, actually you have actually know that i make short videos so to help you actually not get overwhelmed with a lot of steps and things to follow so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and family and with whoever you can and in the next episode we are going to go in depth so if you are interested then please consider turning on the bell icon so you will be notified whenever i post something new on this channel and if you like my content then i really appreciate you support my work on coffee it is going to be in the first link in the description so go check it out you can either donate something to me to support me so i can create keep creating more content or you can become one of my members so you can get extra benefits uh, and actually take advantage of the money you will be giving me on coffee right so thank you guys so much for watching and catch you on the next one